if you're looking to start a blog, one that will change your life and the life of your readers, but you kind of feel like giving up and throwing up your hands because you're feeling a lot of overwhelm and intimidated with actually how to start. And I get it, and I created this video to help you get started step by step with ease. And so you can begin to start a blog that matters with confidence and clarity. So you can have a fully customizable blog in 30 minutes. My name is James Stafford and I've been teaching people how to start a blog and clarify their message since 2012. And in fact, over the last eight years, I've made close to seven figures with my blog. And if you were to ask me, what's the difference that makes the difference? I would tell you this, start a blog that matters. So in this video tutorial, I'll show you how you can create your very own successful blog that matters so you can change your life and the lives of your readers. And I have something really cool I can't wait to show you. It's called the Blog That Matters Blueprint, which I've created to really get your blog visitors excited about your blog, deeply engaged, and most importantly, subscribing to your blog so they come back for more, building the no like and trust factor, and ultimately getting new customers. You're going to love it. So get dialed in and give me your undivided attention because I'll take you through the setup process step by step so you can have your new blog up and running in no time. Now, if you've never built a blog before, don't worry. It's not daunting. It's not scary or overwhelming. Instead, this will be a fun, straightforward, and simple experience. I know because thousands of people have benefited from my How to Start a Blog tutorials here on YouTube. So what I'm sharing with you today is what works and what's relevant right now. And I can't wait to show you this. It's going to be fun. Now, best of all, this process is simple and easy and it doesn't require any technical skills whatsoever. You can get started from next to nothing. And I think it's safe to say got this process pretty dialed in. Now this video is perfect for you if you're looking to start a blog and really have no idea where or how to begin. And if you've tried to get started in the past and have given up. This is also for you because I promise this is going to be painless for you. The aim of this video is very simple. Not only do I want to show you how easy it is to get started online, but I also want to answer some of the most common questions I get bombarded with on a daily basis such as how do I start a blog? How do I properly set it up? Which platform should I use? What's the best hosting company? How do I actually start making money from my blog? How often should I be blogging? Do I need an email list? What are the benefits of blogging and how do I make money and build a business with my blog? Plus a whole bunch more. So in this video, I will answer all these questions and show you how to get your blog live and set up for success pretty quickly. Now with blogging, the benefits are huge. You get to have a fun creative outlet for your work and get to talk to people who share a common interest with you. Blogging allows you to earn an income doing what you love and it gives you the freedom that comes with working for yourself. And most importantly, you get a chance to positively influence the lives of people all around the world, which is just awesome. But how do you make sure your blog stands out from the crowd and succeeds? How do you ensure your blog gets read and shared? The fact is blogging takes work, and if you're willing to put in the work and commit to the process consistently, your blog will thrive. Now, when done properly, blogging can help make an existing business more money. And if you don't yet have a business, blogging is the perfect segue into one because ultimately, that's what we're aiming for, is to make your blog profitable and give you the freedom and flexibility of earning while doing something you love. Now, it's important to understand that things have changed over the years, and it's more important than ever to start your blog the correct way and lay a solid foundation for future blogging success. Now, the ultimate key to your blogging success is action, and the most successful bloggers are the ones who consistently publish regular content. Now, with that being said, let's take a peek at the blog that we're going to be creating. Now, this is it. It's awesome, and we're going to create this using a totally free WordPress theme called Generate Press. It's fresh, clean and beautiful and lightweight and it's the ideal theme for anyone serious about blogging plus it's got a ton of options to enhance its functionality so it's perfect for creating a successful blog that makes money it's awesome now one of the key benefits of this theme is that it's fully mobile responsive which means it's going to look just as great on a tablet or phone as it does on a desktop and will allow your audience to connect with you wherever you are. Now, if you've been poking around in the dark, not knowing how to get started with a blog, this tutorial is really going to help you get clear on the exact steps you need to make money from your blog. 
Plus, you'll learn the secret sauce and the exact steps we use at WebsitesMadeEasy.tv to turn visitors into raving fans and paying customers too. Now, content marketing is huge right now, and this theme is dialed in to ensure your content stands out by placing your content front and center to really capture the attention of your audience. Now, blogging is one of the best ways to establish your credibility and authority, educate your community, and build a personal connection with your audience all at the same time. And when done right, blogging can help you grow your audience and encourage them to become lifelong customers with you. So done properly, your blog will position you as an authority in your industry because it helps build the know, like, and trust factor. Your audience will see you as someone who provides solutions to their most pressing problems and will trust you enough to buy your products and services. Not having a blog can actually make it very hard for you to build your brand and your presence online. Just remember that a blog is designed to be dynamic and function as a living, breathing extension of you or your business. And this is key because people online are usually searching for solutions to their problems and therefore blogging about the topics most relevant to your audience will increase your audience's confidence in you, your products and services. So for example, if you sell skin products, your blog would have tips on looking after your skin and answer specific skin concerns and will also be recommending the products you sell. Now unlike a website which consists mostly of static pages, blogs have content which are regularly updated so the content is always fresh and relevant. Now not only does Google love blogs which are always updated with great content, but it also gives visitors a reason to repeatedly return to you. Plus, your audience can comment on your post creating engagement. Now, this is an awesome way for you to build a relationship with them. Now, hopefully you can see why blogging is so important in helping you make more money regardless of whether you're just starting out or you have an established business. So, how exactly do you start a blog? This tutorial is all about blogging for beginners and will teach you how to be a blogger with just the most basic computer skills. So, whether you're 8 or 88, you can create your own blog in less in 30 minutes. That's my goal for you. So how to start a blog in five steps. Learn how to create your blog in 30 minutes following these five steps. Number one is pick a blog name and you want to choose something descriptive and we'll go through this. Step two is get your blog online, register your blog and get hosting. Step three is properly set up your blog. Choose generate press with a free theme and customize it. Step four is write and publish your first blog post, the fun part. And part five is blog that matters blueprint. Take your blog to the next level and get more people to read your blog so you can grow it and choose from several options to monetize your blog so you can start making money from it. I can't wait to show you this. It's going to be so much fun. Now, we're going to be using a free platform called WordPress, which is a simple web building tool which allows you to have your own blog and website up and running in less time than it takes to make and drink a cup of coffee. It's ridiculous how fast you can get these blogs up. And it's so easy to get started with WordPress. Now, it's the preferred platform from many big name brands who use it to propel their business forward. And I personally help thousands of people who knew nothing about the internet get up and running online quickly and easily and start making money from their blog because WordPress is easy and intuitive to use. And speaking of making money, I also want to help you get started making money online in this video. So make sure you stay dialed in because I'll be sharing with you at least eight awesome ways you can make your blog super successful and start generating money from it. So stay tuned because I think you're going to find this video super useful. Okay, so let's dive in. We're going to get started with step one, which is setting up your blog. Let's get going. So let's start with your domain name, which is the name of your blog address. For example, mine is Websites Made Easy. TV. Once you have your domain name, you're going to need something called a hosting service so your blog basically has somewhere to live on the internet. Now hosting is crucial to getting started online and is no different to you moving into a new home and letting people know where your home is so when they search for you, they know exactly where to find you. Now as mentioned, we're going to be using WordPress which is just a simple blog building tool that will allow you to have your blog up and running in just about 10 minutes. It's the preferred platform of many big name brands who use it to propel their business forward because it's just super easy and intuitive to use. Okay, so let's get your blog live online, which means you need to get set up with your domain name and hosting. And remember, hosting is crucial to getting started online. Now think of it like virtual real estate where all your blog content will have a safe place to live. Now this is really the only money you'll spend in this tutorial and it comes under just about 10 bucks a month depending on the package you choose. It gets cheaper. 
Okay, so the next step is to head over to HostGator.com. Now, I've been using HostGator with my websites going on over 10 years now, and it's what I recommend to all my members at WebsitesMadeEasy.tv. Now, what I love about these guys is it just comes down to the day-to-day -day user experience, the 24-7 customer service, and the safety I feel and have experienced working with HostGator over the years. Now, go ahead and click on Get Started. Then you want to select the Hatchling plan. This is all you need to get started with your blog. The baby plan is if you want to host unlimited domains on one plan. So click on the Hatchling plan unless you want unlimited domains. And here is where you get to choose your blog's address, like ours over at WebsitesMadeEasy.tv. Okay, so now for the domain. Go ahead and decide what you like and then type that in here. And choose between .com or whatever you'd like here. Then go ahead and enter a username and security pin and choose the billing cycle you'd like. And I'm going to go with the whole year as it's slightly cheaper this way. Next, enter in the billing information here and make sure you use an email address you can access as HostGator will email you with your login details afterward. Next, you'll see it's added on extras here. You want to uncheck these as you don't need them. And now you want to enter the coupon code here. So enter blog hero, be sure to validate your savings and you'll see the cost will go right down, saving you up to 60% off your entire hosting, depending on the hosting package you chose. Now you should know that we do get a small affiliate commission for anybody that signs up and we're going to save you money by getting you the lowest price possible so it's really a win-win you get the lowest price possible and we get a small commission for you signing up so it's great for everybody and it helps support us to continue to make this content for you so whatever you're comfortable with so now when you're happy with everything click on check out now and you'll be the proud owner of your very own new blog okay awesome now you'll receive a, a couple of emails from HostGator with your login details and some links to different things this is very important so you want to find the cPanel link here and then click on that in the email so log in using the username and password which you chose and in case you can't remember they're both in the email you just received okay awesome you should be in the cPanel and at first this might look a bit overwhelming we're just going to do two things here. It's real simple. Scroll down, and the first thing we're going to do is ensure we're using the latest software to run our WordPress website. So click on right here where it says software. You want to go to Multi PHP Manager. Go ahead and click this. And at the time of this recording, it's set at 7.0. It might be lower for you. Just raise it to the highest one. So right now it's 7.4 or 7.4 and you want to select your domain and then click apply. That's all you got to do. So now we have the latest software installed. Head back and then right here under popular links you want to click on WordPress installer. And this is how we're going to install WordPress. It's real simple. So all you're going to do is click on install now and right here you want to make sure you select your domain name. I have several here. You're probably just going to have one so pick the one you just purchased. We have the latest software right here for the WordPress install, so WordPress 5.5. And then put in a good you know, site title here. And you can always edit this later. So I'll just type in create your. And then for your site description, you can update this if you want. I'm going to leave that for now, just for this example. And then your admin account. Now this is how you're going to log in to your WordPress website. So you want to select a good username and a good password. So I'm going to go ahead and update this real quick. Perfect. And make sure you have a good email address here. If you ever need to reset your password, this is where it will go. So make sure that's a good email address and you are good to go. So then head down here and make sure you note your username and password so you can log in to the back end of your WordPress website. Okay, so just this stuff right here. Whatever you chose, just write that down or put it in a Word doc, whatever. So click install, and you're about to be the proud owner of a new website. So once this installs, we're going to log into the back end of WordPress. 
so we can start editing the site. Okay, perfect. So now all you're gonna do is this link right here will lead you, it says wp-admin, to the back end of your WordPress website. So go ahead and click this. And you might get an error message saying that the page isn't available yet, and you might have to wait until everything with your new blog is set up on the back end to be ready to be viewed online. Then click the link again. Now this is completely normal. It just takes a little bit longer for your blog to become live online. Now you should be able to click on that link. Again, enter your username and password to log into WordPress and you're in. Okay, awesome. So this is the WordPress dashboard and you are now the proud owner of an online blog. So congratulations, big achievement. And now we're gonna get started with step three, which is properly setting up your blog, choosing a free theme and customizing it for good user experience. And so people can find your blog in the search engines so you can begin to grow your audience. So the first thing I want you to do is just go ahead and X out any of these notifications that you see. Now, if yours looks a little bit different than mine, that's okay. We just want to clean this dashboard area up so there's not all these distractions. Now, as mentioned, this is the WordPress dashboard. And think of this area like the heart of your blog where you can edit and change different things. Now, on the left sidebar here, you can see we have lots of different options to customize your blog. And we'll be getting to these in just a few moments. So let's take a peek and see what your blog looks like right now. So go ahead right up here to the little home and right click this and open it up in a new tab. And you can see it's like a blank canvas, not a lot going on right here. And that's gonna change real soon. It's like a diamond in the rough. And we're gonna get this really dialed in and make a full functioning blog. I can't wait for you to experience this. It's such an easy process to get a WordPress blog live online so you can start sharing your content with your audience. So go ahead and leave this tab open so we can see any live edits that we make and we'll head back to the dashboard. Okay, right here where it says your site is currently displaying a coming soon page. Once you're ready to launch your site, click here. Let's go ahead and click here now, get our site or our blog live online and get rid of this notification. Okay, so what I want you to do now is go ahead and download all the resources for this build out so you can follow along step by step. And my goal for you is to have your blog up within less than 30 minutes. Okay, so follow along step by step with all the images and everything that we add to this blog. And you can get the resources at websitesmadeeasy.tv forward slash blog forward slash blog that matters. Go ahead and download that and you can follow along step by step with all the stuff. Okay, awesome. I'm excited and I hope you are. This is going to be a lot of fun. So now we're going to do some optimization. Now think of this like laying the foundation for your house, really creating a strong blog foundation. So the first area we want to go to is right over here in your menu and then head down to settings and then head over to permalinks right here and click that. Now head down here to where it says post name and go ahead and click this. And this is really simple. This allows for our content to be easily found online specific to what we title our blog pages or posts. Now the other benefit of this is this will help Google index our content appropriately for our specific blog pages and posts or products or services, ultimately giving us good search engine optimization so people can find us online for our specific posts or products or services. Now real quickly, I wanna clarify the difference between a blog page and a blog post. This really confused me when I was just starting. Now blog posts are for your actual blog content. They're dynamic. You can add content to them and people can actually comment on them. Whereas your blog pages are typically static, such as your contact us page or your about us page. Things like that, that pretty much stay the same over time. For example, yourblog.com forward slash contact us or yourblog.com forward slash about us. Those pages pretty much stay the same over time. And I'm going to show you how to use both as we build out this blog. So go ahead and scroll down and save any changes right here. Next, we're going to head over to settings and then general. Now, this is all pretty self-explanatory. So for the site title, we want to put in a good site title, your business name, your blog name, your name. So I'm going to put in WME, which is abbreviated for Websites Made Easy. And then for the tagline, if you want to use the tagline, this will go right below your site title. And I'm going to go ahead and add in start a blog that 
matters. Now, if you're going to use a tagline, just make sure it's crystal clear when someone lands on your blog. They know immediately what your blog is about and there's no room for guessing. Now, the best way to do this is just to really laser focus on the main benefit for your audience. So I could put in something like, start a blog that matters so you can change your life and the life of your readers. You really want to focus again on the main benefit, not the features. Then scroll down here, do not change this, do not change this. And then for administration email address, make sure you have a good email here, just in case you ever need to update your password for your WordPress login. Okay, and then if you made any changes, go ahead and save changes right here. Okay, next I want you to head up here to posts and then click on all posts. We're going to get rid of some default content that comes pre-installed on all WordPress setups. Go ahead and click right next to title and then click move to trash and apply. Excellent. Then head over here to pages and then click on all pages and then do the same. Just get rid of the sample page. Move to trash and then apply. Okay, great. So now we're going to create our about us page and our contact us page. So go ahead and click on add new right here. And then go ahead and X out this and then right in here, just title about. And then publish and then publish again. And I'm going to teach you how to use this editor right here. It's almost like editing a Word document, creating pages and posts. So that's done. So next we'll head to pages right over here and then add new. And remember, we're just laying a solid foundation right now. We're going to set all this up, just creating the infrastructure of your blog. And then title this one contact. And then publish. And then publish again. Now it's okay if you don't have an about us page or contact us page yet, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to show you how you can add them to your menu or you don't have to add them to your menu. You have the option. At least you'll have them ready to go when you're ready. Plus later I'll show you how you can really get these two pages dialed in to connect with your audience. Right now the goal is to get your blog live, get a couple posts up and really build out the foundation for your blog. Okay, awesome. So now we're ready to start customizing your blog and making it unique to you. So now what we're going to do is head over to appearance and then theme. So right over in the menu and appearance and then click on themes. Okay, so now this is the theme dashboard where you can choose from thousands of themes. Now what I want you to do is just head down here and then click on add new theme. Okay, perfect. So real quickly, a theme is the look and feel of your blog. And as mentioned, there are thousands of different themes that you can choose from and some are great and some really aren't. And that's why I've gone through and found the best one for you to use so you can start your blog properly and it has been proven effective over the years by thousands of bloggers, content creators, and what I feel like is best to serve you and your audience. So go ahead and click on search themes right here and then type in generate press and it should pull it up right here. Awesome. Go ahead and click on install and then I want to show you this real quick. I'm going to click on details and preview and check out these reviews. Incredible. Now I pick this theme because it's by far the easiest to get started with and has the ideal layout and functionality for a blog. It's free also, it's lightweight, fast code, beautiful, and Google loves blogs that load fast. And that's really the benefit of using a theme like this. It's super lightweight. You know what it's like when you go to a website or blog and it's just bogged down and never loads? You're not going to deal with that having a theme like this. And like I said, there's thousands of themes available to make a really beautiful blog with all the bells and whistles, but that's a little bit more complicated than it needs to be right now. Right now, my goal for you is the fastest path to execution. Now, this is important to be aware of, and I don't want you getting caught up in the trap of bouncing from video to video looking for the perfect looking blog. You just need to get started with something that's proven, has good reviews, and you can always add more functionality and bells and whistles as you move forward with your blog. And the good thing with Generate Press is they have a premium version of this theme which you can really dial in and really enhance the functionality and look of your blog. The point is you don't want to spend a whole bunch of time making a perfect looking blog and making it look beautiful. It's much more important to actually start creating content for your blog to get people to it. You can always 
change it. There's so many people who want the perfect looking blog and they spend months and months making it perfect and you know the whole time there's nobody coming to it. It doesn't even matter. So don't be that person. I want you to be aware of that because I've seen it over and over and over again throughout the years. So this is all about laying a solid blogging foundation, remember? And I'm going to show you how you can start creating content. No need for unnecessary overwhelm of making your blog perfect. And then once people start coming to your blog, you can always go back and redo things with a little bit of a redesign. And that's really easy with this theme, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this and then activate the theme. So now you've effectively changed the entire look and functionality of your blog. So if we head back here and then refresh the page, pretty cool, right? One click, you've entirely changed the look and functionality of your blog. And you can see right up here, we have our site title and tagline, the two pages we've created. This right here is where your blog posts will live or your blog role. So any blog post that you create will be right here, almost like a Facebook feed. If you scroll down, you'll see all your posts. And then we have our sidebar over here, which we're gonna clean up. Okay, so let's head back over to the other tab. And then I want you to head over to posts and then click on add new. Okay, awesome. We are at step four where you're gonna learn how to write and publish your first blog post. So let's get into it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is add a couple of blog posts to our blog, and I'm gonna show you how you can add some rich content to each post, such as videos, images, links, you name it, you can do it. And to do that, we can add in different blocks depending on what kind of content we wanna add. So right here, this little plus or this little plus. Anywhere where you see a plus is where you can add a block. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click this. And then as you can see, you have all these different types of content that you can add to your blog. Paragraph, image, heading, quote, list, gallery, audio. It's awesome what you can do with this. So you can create some awesome dynamic blog posts. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. And I wanna make this very simple for you. And the goal here is just to make you aware of how to do it so you can play with this some and really create something that's unique to you. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and title this one, Six Ways to Transform Your Business Through Blogging. And this is an article that's actually on our main blog at websitesmadeeasy.tv. I'm gonna use it for this example here. So all I've done is just copied the article and I'm gonna paste it right in here. It's straight from a Google Doc. So I'll just click right into this block and then paste it right in. Pretty awesome, right? All the links, everything. It's just really, really easy. If you already have articles written, just paste it in. And I'm gonna show you how to add a couple images in this and make it a little bit more dynamic to add some rich content to it. Now I'm gonna show you quickly how you can edit this post. So say for example, we wanted to edit this block alone, we could click right into it. Say we wanted to delete just this block, we could click these three dots and remove block. That simple, right? Say we don't like that edit that we just made, we could go back up here and reverse that. That's it, pretty simple. And if you wanted to add a new block, you'd click right here, add block, and then add in whatever you wanted to add. And I'm gonna show you how to add a couple images right now. So we'll click out of that. And now I wanna add an image, I'm gonna scroll down, right here. So I wanna add an image right before long-term engagement. So I'll click this plus, and then click on image. And I'll click upload. Looking good. And I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna add one more. Right here, add block. Now I'm gonna show you how to add a cover image, which is kind of cool. Upload. Now what's different about this is you can actually add text overlay to it, and you can do some other cool things too. So if I click right here, if I click in there, I can add text, right? If I click on the image itself, I can edit the image. So if I click in here, I can change it to full width. We'll check what that looks like. And I can also do some cool things over here by adding overlays. I kind of like that one. And then you can change the opacity right here, make it lighter or darker. And that's looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this Publish again, and let's take a look at the post. So we'll click on View Post. All right, looking pretty good. So we'll scroll down, 
There's our image. You can see all the links throughout the post. There is our cover image. See the difference? Pretty cool, it makes it dynamic, breaks it up some. And that's what you wanna do, is you wanna make the post dynamic and break up all this text. So we'll head back to edit post. I forgot to add a featured image, which will be right here, and you'll see in a second. So head back to edit post, then head down here to featured image. Now something to be aware of. If I click inside a block, it's gonna go back to this block navigation column, okay? So you won't see that featured image that I just showed you. So if we head back to document, then we could head to featured image. So click on that, click set featured image, I'm gonna go ahead and select set featured image. There it is. And I'm gonna do one more tweak that I forgot to show you. So we're gonna head back down to our cover image. And this is really cool. So I'm gonna click into the cover image and then right over here, go over into the menu area. And then where it says fixed background, go ahead and toggle that. Now check that out. I'm gonna update it and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. There's our featured image. Pretty cool, right? Thought that was a really nice effect. So yeah, it just makes the, the post a lot more engaging. So let's head back to view post or edit post. And now I'm gonna show you how to add another blog post. So go ahead and click on add new, title this one seven things you need to know before you start a blog. And now right below this title in this block here, I'm gonna add in a Vimeo link, which is a video like a YouTube link. And I'm gonna add this in right here and it's gonna populate the video. Pretty awesome, right? So if I go ahead and click back into the video or the block and I click the pencil, you can see the link right here and you can paste in YouTube uh, URLs as well. So if I click on embed, it'll go back to the video. Now I'm gonna add in my blog post right below this. So I'm gonna head down, and then right in this block, I'm just gonna paste in my whole post. Now I'm gonna add an image, so I'm gonna head up, and then right here, to ensure I create a new block, right below this block, I'm gonna click into this block, and then press enter, and then I can add a new block here. Okay, so then I'm gonna select image, and then I'm just gonna type it in here. There it is. And then upload. I love this image. Now let's go ahead and add the featured image. So go ahead and click on document to get out of the block and then we'll uh, click set featured image. Upload files, set files. And it was seven things you need to know post. This one right here. Looking good. So now we have our featured image. And for categories, I wanna explain this real quick. I wanna go ahead and add a new category and we'll just title this blog, or blogging. So for example, on my, and then I'll just go ahead and select add new category. And then we'll unselect this and then we'll categorize the last post here in a minute. But basically what uh, categories you're gonna do is structure your content. So on my website, for example, Websites Made Easy, we have website traffic customers. So if I have a lot of posts related to website building, I would categorize them under website. And then for traffic, if I have a lot of posts, say for you know Google traffic, organic traffic, paid traffic, I would categorize those under traffic. So if anyone were searching for specific content, they could select the category and find all my posts related to that. Now, if we head down here, I wanna show you this as well. Now, right down here, we have a call to action. So this is a little bit about our WTC system. And then we have a link right here. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all this. And as you can see, if I click the pencil, you can see this is a link to our Facebook group, which is really awesome. Okay, and this is a little bit more involved. It's outside the scope of this specific video. So when we come to a close in this video, I'll talk about some next steps. But yeah, you wanna add calls to action at the end of your post. So, you know, either offering some sort of lead magnet in exchange for an email address, you know, with an email opt-in form. So you're giving a piece of value in exchange for an email address, which I'm sure you've seen before, or you can link to a Facebook group. Now let me show you how to add this link. 
Okay, all I did was just highlight this and then you could break the link right there. So now there's no link and let me show you how to add it in. So just highlight this and then click the link and then paste the link right in there and then click the arrow to apply. And now you have a link. Pretty simple. Okay, so we are done with this post. So I'm gonna go ahead and update. Now I want you to head back to all posts and click that. And here we can make some quick edits and I'm gonna show you how to change the category on this uncategorized post. So go ahead and do quick edit right here. And then right here it says categories, we wanna select blogging. And then untick this one. And then we wanna update. So this is where you can access all your posts. Pretty straightforward. And now I'm gonna show you how to create a custom menu. So head over here to appearance and then click on menus. So right here where it says menu one, go ahead and click create menu. Okay, so we've created our menu. And once we select primary menu here, it's gonna display all three of these on the homepage of the blog. So if I click save menu, and then go back to the homepage of the blog and then refresh, it's gonna display all three, okay? So if you don't want those, you could head back and then you can remove what you don't want. So say we wanted to just remove this, we could remove that, save menu, go back to the home page. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the home. And then if I wanna bring the contact back, I would select over here, add to menu. And then you can adjust them like this, or you could even tier them like this by moving that over. If you wanted to create tiers underneath menus, sub pages. So that's it, we'll save the menu. So that's about it. Now I'm gonna show you just real quickly how to customize the blog. Just some quick tweaks that you can make for your personal preference. So if you click on site identity, here's our site title, the tagline. You can add a logo as well. So I could select a logo, I could choose the logo and then select it, I crop it, and then right here, we would change the size. And then of course, we would wanna remove this and this. Pretty cool, right? Then for your site icon, and this is the little favicon that you sometimes see in the browser tab, you can choose that. Just these little touches that are kind of cool. It's 512 by 512. We could select that, pop that right in. And as you can see, it's this little guy right here in the tab. So we're good to go there. So we can go back, then head down to layout and select that and then do primary navigation. And right here where it says navigation left, I like to move this over to the right. And navigation below header, you can move it above header, as you can see. So you get the idea, you can play with a lot of this stuff. But I think pretty much out of the box, generate press, pretty, it becomes pretty dialed in. I like this navigation over here on the right. So we'll leave that, then head down to colors. And then this is kind of cool. So the current color is black. You can change it to white, green. That looks kind of nice, blue. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it with the current, which is black. And then we can head back. And general, don't need to mess with that. And then widgets, this is really the only last thing we need to deal with here. So we'll just click on right sidebar. So this is all this over here. Okay, so we don't need all of that. So we can leave the search, recent post. We can remove archives, remove that. Categories and we can remove meta and then we can move them around like that. And then publish. We can close this out, head back here, and here's our finished blog. And I wanna make one change actually, because it's showing the entire post. We only wanna show just a snippet of the post in the blog role. So this is the blog role right here. So we'll head back to customize, click that, then head down here to layout, click that, then click on blog, and it says content type full, we wanna do excerpt. 
and then publish. And as you can see, it's only showing a little snippet now. So we can close this out. A lot better. So now I'm going to give you eight ways to create a successful money-making blog. So please be sure to pay attention. I think you're going to love this. Number one is sponsored content. And what is sponsored content? Generally, when a brand, company, or individual pays you a fee in order to get their content or offer in front of your audience. And that means you'll likely need some semblance of a readership base before you're able to broker a sponsored content deal. And the best way to do sponsored content without alienating your readers is to weave it into your blog posts. Unless you already have a sizable email list or an option on another site or social account that you plan to use to drive traffic to your blog, it'll take you some time to grow your readership to a point where sponsored content is a viable monetization option. But the good news is, is there are much quicker ways to start monetizing your blog, like number two, freelancing or selling your services. Now, if you want to start earning money from your blog right away, then selling your services is going to be your lowest effort option by far. All you really need in order to land your first freelancing client is a strong enough pitch, which is where your blog helps significantly. You want to build out your key pages, like your About Us page and your Contact Us page, which we've already gone through, and maybe a Hire Me page, and showcase at least a couple of examples of the type of work you've done that you'll soon be pitching freelancing clients on. And if you don't have those work samples yet, don't let that hold you back. Spend a few days right now to create those example articles, designs, or other deliverables and host them on your own blog as if they were a project you got paid to produce. If you have a skill that you can sell as a service, then you're already prepared to go out and start pitching potential clients. That skill could be something like you know, writing, design, photography, marketing, developing public relations, social media management, virtual assistance, community building, SEO or paid advertising, business strategy or project management. The list goes on and on. Number three is online courses. I love this one. And once you have a skill or experience that others want to learn, it's relatively easy to package your best advice and strategies, tactics, and tutorials into an online course where people can pay for access to accelerate their learning much quicker than they would otherwise by going through the stumbling process of learning through trial and error. Now, for example, over at Websites Made Easy, we sell our WTC system on a dollar trial for a full month, then $27 per month afterwards. Now this is a win-win because we get to serve our audience with unbelievable content for a price that's very reasonable for people just getting started out online. Under a dollar per day to build your business online. It's pretty killer. Now this is so easy to get started with. We literally just send weekly emails out promoting the system to new and existing subscribers and link the email straight to a checkout page to the dollar trial offer. Easy. What's killer about online courses as a monetization path for your blog is that you don't need a huge audience in order to start earning from your course sales. Once you have just a handful of readers on your blog, encourage them to interact with you, ask questions, offer free downloads, share your advice, and get them to join your email list, like we've been talking about, so you can connect with them and learn about their biggest challenges as related to the broader topics covered on your blog. Pinpoint the ways you can uniquely help them by leaning on your own skills, knowledge, and experience. After you determine the right way to help a handful of your readers solve a real problem they're encountering, pitch them on pre-ordering your course and getting direct coaching from you in the meantime while you work on building out the actual course material. And you can do this through email or preferably by phone. Now this will do two things for you. First, asking people to actually give you their hard-earned cash will validate that you're solving a real problem. Second, you'll get live test subjects to help build and curate your course content in real time over the coming weeks. And your course can emerge as the result of lessons learned and tactics proven from your direct coaching time. It's pretty awesome. Number four is traditional blog advertisements and joining ad networks. On my blog right now, you'll see a small advertisement in the right sidebar. And you can also weave these ads into your blog post so they're in context in terms of what the blog post is about. And the ad copy would reflect that or be something very similar to the post. Some major ad networks to consider installing on your blog would be like Google AdSense, Buy Sell Ads, and Propeller Ads, just to name a few. 
Number five, podcast sponsorships. Another great way to start monetizing your blog is by launching a simple podcast for your readers. What's cool is podcasting gives you an excuse to interview some of the most interesting people in your industry, you know, ultimately cultivating, creating relationships. And depending on the niche you're blogging about, it may be relatively easy to start booking interviews with some figures that you look up to in your space. Number six is affiliate programs, another awesome way to just get started with monetizing your blog. Now, every month I earn a good amount of passive income from affiliate programs I'm a member of. Here's how affiliate programs work. You get a special tracking link or coupon code from the company you're an affiliate for. Then you'll place that link within posts of your blog, emails that you send out your, to your blog subscribers, and weave it in anywhere else that you reach your readers. Now, when someone clicks on that tracking link and completes a purchase, then you earn either a set fee or a percentage of that sale. You're getting compensated for referring new customers to your affiliate partners. Now, some of the biggest brands have affiliate programs. Think about global companies like Amazon. Now, that is an awesome way to get started. Check this out. Say you have like a little book that you're recommending on your blog. Now, if someone clicks on that link and they go to Amazon and they buy the book and then they buy just tons of other things, you get commissions for everything they purchase just by clicking on your affiliate link. It is pretty awesome. You can also get started with other players in specific niches like online education where brands like Creative Live, Skillshare, Udemy have lucrative affiliate programs. Number seven is physical products and software tools. Now, similar in concept to launching an online course to your blog audience, another great way to monetize your audience is by selling a physical product or software tool to the people in your community. At the end of the day, this all comes back to solving the problems your blog readers have. Number eight is business relationships. Of all the ways to monetize your blog, this is the most unpredictable. Who knows who you're going to meet as a result of building your blog? And what about future guests on your podcast? Now, the possibilities here for stumbling into partnership opportunities are endless. Now, as a result of sticking with my blog for several years, I've been able to use it as a tool to meet some incredibly talented entrepreneurs. Now, it's true that there aren't as many ways to authentically engineer the creation of these types of partnerships aside from growing your personal brand and reach of your blog, and then by being receptive to the creative people and ideas that come your way as others discover your blog. Now on the flip side, if there's someone in your space that you really want to collaborate and work with, strategize on a way you can add value to their business first. Build a community of people that you know they'll want to reach to, and then start building a relationship with your influencer before pitching them on a collaboration idea. Now I hope you've enjoyed these eight awesome ways to make money with your blog. I would recommend sticking with one or two to just get started and really get that dialed in. I would I started with affiliate programs and an online course. This is all about having multiple sources of income and your blog is the vehicle to make that happen. Okay, so that's about it. Congratulations. You now have a fully functioning blog live online and you should feel great about this. This is great momentum to starting a blog that matters. Now it's time to move on to step five, which is the blog that matters blueprint, where you're gonna learn how to take your new blog to the next level and learn how to get more people to read your blog so you can grow it and choose from several options to monetize your blog so you can start making money from it. The thing to remember is that people online are usually searching for solutions to their problems and blogging about topics relevant to your audience will give them confidence in you and your products and services. In short, blogging builds the no like, and trust factor and is one of the best ways to establish your credibility and authority, plus educate your community and build a personal connection with your audience all at the same time. As your blog content increases, so will your audience. Your audience can engage with your content by liking, commenting, and sharing it. Now, the more useful the content is, the more likely they will engage and share. Another huge bonus is that Google loves blogs that are highly relevant to its users, meaning Google will boost content from blogs that are fresh and relevant and most of all engaging. Ultimately, a blog that's focused purely on helping your audience is a win-win for you and your audience. So let's take your blog to the next level. And the first place we need to begin is with your niche 
or your blog avatar. You need to know who you're talking to and how you can create the right kind of content for them. Now, if you're struggling with zeroing in on finding your niche or what you're even gonna blog about, I will show you two free tools I use so you can discover your perfect niche and uncover a treasure trove of endless content ideas that people are actively searching for so you never have to struggle for what to blog about. Now then I'm gonna show you how I structure and write my blog posts so you can write your post with more confidence and clarity. Now if you struggle just to write basic content or you feel overwhelmed that you're not the best writer or copywriter, this is really gonna help you step through that. And it's a simple framework that you can use every time to not only write good blog posts, also write blog posts that have impact and are gonna help you sell your products or services authentically. No icky sales stuff. Now, this is how I structure all my blog posts and I'm able to weave in different promotions or offers to sell my products or other people's products by leading with value in solving real problems for my audience. And I've come up with a simple formula for this as well. And I call it the 3X formula. And I'm gonna show you three ways I profit with my blog posts. And number one is how I structure and set up my post authentically to sell my products. Number two is how I set up my post to sell other people's goodies or affiliate marketing. And number three is how I set up my post to sell Amazon products. Now this way you'll gain an awareness of how to really write blog posts that matter and that are gonna be benefit driven for your audience, allowing you to intentionally write content that you know is gonna be helpful. Also to ensure that you're not just staring at a blank screen, scratching your head, wondering what to blog about. I'm also gonna show you how you can create a lead magnet where you can give away a piece of value in exchange for an email address and how you can get started with email marketing so you can continue to build the know, like, and trust factor, grow your audience to ultimately profit from your blog. And next, I'll show you eight ways that you can make money with your blog. It's awesome. And I'm gonna show you some of the best features and benefits from big name blogs like Mashable.com, CNN, TechCrunch, and Damn Delicious and show you exactly how to add these to your own blog too. You're gonna love it. So if you're ready to take your blog to the next level and you wanna earn a decent living blogging, you're gonna find the next video helpful. You're finally gonna get clear on exactly what makes a successful, profitable blog that matters. Just click the link here or at the end of this video to get started now, and be sure to like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I appreciate the feedback. And I've enjoyed making this video for you, and thank you very much. This is James Stafford.